Hi guys, uh, today I bring you Nibelor, Crystal Spiders and Ice Golems for a 50 plus EK, which is a pretty good spot actually. Not many people go here, but I think it's uh, it's pretty good and it's great for doing tasks. So looking at the results, uh, the raw experience here is about 400k per hour, which is about 600k on 150. And the profit you will get is somewhere between 80 to 100k per hour, which will basically cover your supplies and imbuements. So it's basically zero, uh, which on level 50k is pretty good. Difficulty, super easy, two out of 10. And bestiary, it'll take about three hours for spiders and, spiders and golems. And in those three hours, you will probably be able to complete three times tasks on crystal spiders and golems. This is killing in the name of tasks, of course, that I'm talking about. So definitely do make sure to pick those up before you come here. Uh, with regards to requirements, yep, level 50 plus, I, uh, you also need barbarian test quest, uh, the, the, you know, the honeycomb, bear hugging and what, and all that. And after you complete the barbarian test quest, you can do the befriending the musher in the ice islands quest. That's just do taking the piece of meat to the uh, Winter Wolf, and then you get access to Nibble. That's all you need. Super simple. Uh, recommended to best two-handed physical weapon with three imbue slots, and this place can effectively be hunted by basically everyone solo. It's it's pretty good. Uh, I do recommend checking this place out on the level 50. You know, it's good task progression, relatively good experience, relatively okay profit. It's just a pretty much, you know, a 7 out of 10 place for everyone around level 50, so it's pretty good. And recommended imbuements, all standard imbuements, you know, your crit, your two mana, your two life leeches, and you can see the input analyze on the right. It's mostly physical damage with a little bit of ice damage. Uh, supplies per hour, I was actually still using small manas here, but you will need about 450 strong mana potions per hour. Um, the loot here is quite heavy. You've got a lot of like knight armors and knight legs. So realistically, you're most likely going to be doing 30 minute um, 30 minute refills. So maybe, you know, you bring 250 strong mana potions and that will be your refill. Uh, Charms and A, Wheel and A, and character you'll see in the video is a level 69 EK with a 106 sword skill base, I believe, maybe 107 and no praise active. And before we take a look at the root and the video, quick shout out to my YouTube members as Jadot, Kutcher, Pashigu, Paput, Laskis, Javi and Defect Musgul. Thank you very much guys for all your support. Uh, now, looking at the root, um, let me just grab a different color, not white. Uh, let's pick red for this place. So you enter through here, and I usually do a little loop here. Now I go somewhere here, pak pak pak, kill all the stuff here. Do a little loop here, go up north, do a little loop here. Now go here. This is a this this little thing on the right is pretty good. There's quite a lot of monsters here, especially here at the end. You've got, I think, three or four crystal spiders which come at you. So th this is like the only sort of kind of dangerous uh, place because, you know, they can one-shot you if you just start boxing crystal spiders here. So be careful for that particular pull. Uh, and this is it. I just go back to the entrance and I basically do a loop like this. It's, it's pretty all right. I do like this place. I always make sure to complete at least a couple of sets of tasks at this level. And yeah, that's what I have for you. I'm going to show you the video now. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.